This is the A and T registers Ask a Black Girl. This is a sequel to Ask a Black Guy that we did last month. So what we're going to do here is ask you several questions to get a black girl's perspective. Are you ready? Yeah. Boy, you don't get out of my shit. <laughs> Everyone, my name is Crystal Hall. I'm a junior journalism and mass communication student. My name is Nyver Thornton. I am a journalism and mass communication student with a concentration in multimedia, and I am a junior. Hi, my name is Sergey McClamey. I'm a sophomore JLMC student. Hi, everyone. I'm Shannon Moses, a fourth year computer engineering student from Durham, North Carolina. First question What is it like being a black girl in America? Pretty hard. Sometimes they put us on the highest pedestal and then sometimes they could drag us all the way down to the dirt. We face so many trials and different things that happen to us that doesn't really happen to other people just because for one, we're already African American and for two, we're a woman. There are levels to being. First you have to be yourself, then you have to be yourself in America, then you have to be a woman in America, and then you have to be a black woman in America. We always get the short end of the stick, like for example in jobs and in corporate. Power to us. We're just bomb individuals. Like we can handle anything. Just because we're a woman, we 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 birth kids, we take care of our kids, you know, we go to work, we do everything perfectly. We look good, you know what I'm saying? And then we got our melanin skin, which adds a plus. So I just feel like being a black girl is just awesome, you know? You can't beat it. most disrespectful thing someone has said to you? I was as black as the street. You're not black enough to attend an HBCU. Is someone telling me that I'm not being myself because I know that like, I'm a raw version of, you know, what I'm meant to be. I was cute for a big girl. What is that supposed to mean? I'm cute, period. I told him I wanted to attend either a and or Winston and it was like, you sure about that? We don't think you're just right. And I was like, oh. Okay, I'm gonna prove you wrong, but okay. I got teased being a dark skinned girl when I was growing up. That's crazy. This was like in middle school, oh elementary or middle school. It shouldn't be you're cute for a big girl. I feel like that was so disrespectful, so did you want me to take that as a compliment? Like, I'm not, like, no. What is your go to hairstyle? What is your favorite hairstyle? The puff. Just take the band, throw it on, walk out the door. My go-to hairstyle is the grandma auntie pin curls. <laughs> I love, love, love pin curls. Weave, sewings, um, a traditional sewing with a side part. I would quickly throw some water and some tea tree oil and put it in a ponytail and uh, just kind of like fluff it out. I call it the broccoli top. It's my favorite. The what? Broccoli top. Mark okay. okay. Call it a day. <laughs> what you do with you? <laughs> Walk out. <laughs> would you ever? Or have you ever dated outside your race? If so, what was it like? I have not dated outside of my race. I would, just because I'm open to things of nature. I haven't, and I feel like if I was to, it would be really difficult, especially in, the, in these times in America. I went on a date with a white guy, but I never actually fully got in a relationship with him. But I would though. It would be different. Like, let's say if I did a white guy, like, you have to get used to his family. Like, they probably do some crazy stuff that you don't do. They would probably judge us a lot. And we get a lot of backlash. Just two different cultures, and you gotta get us used to that. Like, for instance, like, you know, white people don't wash their hands. How did they want the white guy? It was okay. Um, different. Very different. What annoys you most about males? Boy, oh boy. We about to go on and on all day. Y'all got time? They're inconsistent. There's so many games. And they don't know how to play the game right. They expect you to cater to them, but they don't want to cater to you in some instances. They're like an emotional roller coaster that doesn't want to show that they're an emotional roller coaster. They be focused on the wrong things. Like, you know, like playing the game, getting 2K, all that. Like, y'all be focused on the wrong things. What? Like, Get, come on, get get your life together. When they show emotions, they feel bad about showing emotions, and then we want their emotions, and they're like, we don't want to show it to you. Then they get angry, then they just start balling it all up, and they turn into assholes, and then we gotta start from the beginning and try to get the emotions back out. Why can't you take that same distance and come see me? Why is that? Why you gonna be like, oh, when, when you wanna come over, or can you come over? No, come see me! What is your favorite slang word? Period. 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 Well, I always use lit. I use lit all the time. 
No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm kidding. So I like come around. I come around. Period. Your hand should be this big. Like, Wait. Period. So it stays like this? Yeah. Coins. <laughs> Gotta get the coins. Can I say Negro? If we go to a party, always oh, lit. Or if I'm just, if I got my homework done, always oh, lit. Now she got the red. It's pink. Period. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. No, <laughs>